today I want to talk about jointer setup. Woodworking tools can do fabulous work when they're set up correctly. When they're not set up correctly, they can be the most frustrating thing in the world to use. And the jointer seems to have some mysteries to it. And we're going to unveil those today so that you can see why you need to set up your jointer the way that you do. Now the purpose of a jointer is to take wood that is rough and smooth the edges either on the edge or on the flat. And many times you'll actually be using it to glue wood together. Now one of the problems with jointers if they're not set up properly is you will get, first of all, you can get large chunks of what we call snipe on the end, and we'll show you something of that later on. Or you can get, the worst thing you can get is boards that aren't flat, but that are arced like that. Um, and those boards are impossible to glue together because they're like the bottoms of rocking chairs. They just simply won't glue. And the cause of that is having the cutter head too low in the jointer. The, the, when the cutter head is below the outfeed table, here's the infeed table, here's the outfeed table, and the wood travels like this through the jointer. When the knives are below the level of the outfeed table, you will get boards that are arced. And they will look like that. Now you can't glue boards like that together. The way to set up a jointer is the cutting knives need to be just barely above the outfeed table. The way to measure just how high this is, depending on the kind of jointer that you have, you will need to adjust the knives up and down a certain amount. Some jointers have built-in features. They have springs in them that you can use to keep the blades down and, and snug them up that way. Other jointers actually have adjustable screws that you can move the blades up and down. The way that you determine the actual setting for a, a blade for the, your cutter knives, and most jointers have three cutting blades on them, so you'll need to do this with all three blades, is when you lay a ruler on the outfeed table and rotate by hand the cutting edge, it should grab that ruler just slightly and pull it ahead, lift it up just slightly and pull it ahead by an eighth to a quarter of an inch. So it'll lift it up and pull that ruler ahead. That's when you know that your that your uh, jointer knives are set to the right height. Anything higher, anything lower is going to cause problems. Lower, as we discussed, your boards are going to have an arc in them. They'll actually be rounded. And the more you try and take that roundness out, the worse it gets. So it compounds itself every time you try and fix that. If you go too high, you will end up taking a big chunk out of the back. And we talked about that before. That's something called snipe. When you run a board through, if the knives, you, you get snipe anyway, even with this setting, you're going to get a little bit of snipe in every jointer. But if you set it too high, it will actually cut out that last little chunk of wood. Now, if it's set to where I'm telling you right now, a quarter to, or an eighth to a quarter, 
the snipe that you'll get on the end of a board, if you don't cut it off, you'll be able to sand it out. It's that small. So let's have a look at my jointer and see how it's set. This is my jointer. This is the in-feed table. This is the out-feed table. And this, I just have taped off for right now, is the, the uh, safety shield. So the wood will come through the cutter blades in this jointer in that sort of a path. Now, I just set my jointer knives up a couple of weeks ago and didn't need to photograph it at the time. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to get in really tight and I'm actually going to show you because the actual setting doesn't really matter. It's going to depend on what kind of a jointer you have, how you will be setting your knives. So we don't really need to show that. What we do need to show is that the, the height of the jointer is what makes the difference. Now as I mentioned it's going to vary from jointer to jointer how you set the blades. Now some jointers have no method of setting blades and if they don't, if the jointer doesn't, you can actually purchase a tool. And this is a tool with magnets on it. There's six magnets. And the idea of this is that you hang this magnet over these two magnets sit on the outfeed table. And this one sits right over your jointer knife and it actually suspends it. And from that when you set that on the jointer like that, it actually holds the blade in suspension so that you can actually tighten down the blade. And it's set so that you can, this one is set so that it does that exact height that you want. But I don't need to do that with this one because this one has adjustable screws that you can raise and lower the heads. Now, I found out after I owned the jointer for three or four years that it had adjustable screws in there and I did that by reading the manual. If I hadn't, if I'd have read the manual earlier I wouldn't have had to go out and purchase this tool which I don't use anymore because the jointer has an adjustment on it. So I encourage you to go and read your manuals from time to time because sometimes you'll discover things about your tool that you may not have even known it had, features that it, you didn't even know it had. So we're going to get in really tight here and show where the blades are set and how you can see that ruler moving. There's the knives and there's the steel rule. So at each side of the blade, now I'm on the outfeed table here, I gently lower the steel rule down onto the blade, then rotate it. You see how it's moving an eighth of an inch? It lifts that rule ever so slightly and moves it forward. I'm going to do the same thing on the back of the table. Does the same thing. Lifts the ruler up slightly and moves it ahead by an eighth to a quarter of an inch. That's how you know that your jointer knives are set correctly. So setting up your jointer is really not difficult once you know where it needs to be set and that way you'll get good and consistent results. You may want to adjust the infeed table up and down depending on how much wood you want to take off each time uh, but your outfeed table you will not want to adjust once you have set your jointer knives. The other thing you may need to set 
is your fence. You'll want to check it and you want to check that from time to time anyway. For that I highly recommend a steel square. These are always accurate. It doesn't matter what the temperature or what the weather conditions are. Some of the squares that have wood in the handle they will actually change depending on the weather conditions. Uh, so get yourself a good steel square. I know a lot of people use these combination squares. They're okay, but I've found that some of them are not as dead accurate as I would like to see them. So pick yourself up a fixed 90 degree steel square and you'll be able to use it all over for setting your machinery all over your workshop. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Make sure you check out our website for lots more information and techniques.